This the mothers the I think the best thing we should be doing today is to pray for our mothers, to pray for them. Because without them, I don't think we'll be here today. Today we'll be praying, especially those mothers that maybe no one has celebrated them in their life. No one has celebrated them, even their children. And every time they are thinking about that. And also for those moms, maybe in 1950s, there was a time mothers were forced to give up their children for adoption. We're also praying for them. And also, all the moms that have passed, especially my own mom, we are praying for them. Maybe no one celebrated them. And also, our spiritual mothers, those that pray for the aborted children, the children that were killed, maybe through IVF, we are praying for those mothers because their job is to pray for those kids, for the souls of those kids to rest. So we are recognizing them in this Mass also. And also we are praying for those mothers. They don't have children yet. They are praying to have children. But because of infertility, they are suffering internally. They are not happy. They are not happy, especially when they see other kids playing around. We are praying for them in this mass so that God will wipe away their tears. And also for our consecrated mothers. We call them spiritual mothers. They don't have children, but they are praying for every children in the world. So if you have not been recognized in any way as a mom, God is going to recognize you in this mass. And one thing I want to tell you every mother here is that as you celebrate your day to day, when you go home, I want you to read the book of Proverbs, chapter 31. The book of Proverbs, chapter 31. And there, God tells us about the women. And that women in Proverbs, chapter 31, these women. Her husband trusts her very well. And these women, anytime her husband comes home, she will be the first to go and welcome her husband. And these women, in Proverbs chapter 31, the Bible tells us that she wakes up in the morning to take care of her kids to get them ready for school. And these women is a hardworking woman. She goes to gym. She has something doing. She is not a lazy woman. And these women, she makes sure that television doesn't train her children. And these women, she always makes sure that video game does not take in charge of her children. I will encourage you to read that proverb chapter 31 because it's your day. Dads, don't worry, Father's Day, we're going to talk about you, how good you are. But when you go this night, if you cannot do it this night, Make sure you take care of these women. Make sure.
take her out. We cannot do it this night. Tomorrow, make sure you take her out. If you haven't done that before, just do it for this Mother's Day to make her happy. I'm wishing you a happy Mother's Day.